Hey Breezers, how are you guys? I hope everybody is having a great day, evening, morning, wherever you are. I hope it's amazing for you. Um, I'm looking on Twitter to see what I missed from today because I was out all day. So, nope, this isn't the first tweet. I was going to say this is the first tweet I saw, but it's not. The first tweet I actually saw while I was being nosy snooping around was something along the lines of SJAM was paying Foodie Beauty's credit card bill. Something along the line, she was sending him nudes up until she left for Kuwait. So we're going to go look for that tweet as soon as we watch this clip of Pete's raging. So this tweet is from Holly Go Heavy at Out of Spoons 1. And they said it took approximately less than one week for Pete's to rage quit. Why? He doxed himself. He got mad people called his phone after he set up a dating profile. It was sad to see the events unfold, how not smart he is. Then they put trigger warning, violence, yelling, and being an asshole. Good to know. All right, this is your cue to click out now if you need to, and we'll see you in the next video. Let's watch this together. Fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. All right? Do not. Do not. Do fucking not call me or text me or fucking anything. You leave me the fuck alone on my phone, all right? Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. You fucking piece of shit assholes. Get the fuck away from me. Thanks for making it fucking impossible for me to have a good fucking time. So my takeaway from that clip before we go look for foodie beauty updates, I feel bad for Pete's roommates. I feel bad because Pete's rages over anything. Pete's cannot handle anything at all. Cannot handle anything at all. It's wild to me that um, <laughs> the way he's talking to his own, he's like, do not, do not, do not. And then like, leave me alone. And uh, but. You're still live streaming. Um, you doxed your own number. Like, yeah, it sucks people are calling you, but like, did you really think putting your phone number on a dating profile, like, in the description, not the description, the bio or whatever, did you really think that that was a good idea? I don't really think you thought that through. Um, and honestly, Pete's like, I wonder, like, I don't know that you can handle YouTube. I don't. The things you flip out over. Um, <laughs> would you like to come spend a day living my life? Like, well, please don't for one thing. But like, I don't think you could handle like real adulting versus like your little inconveniences. I don't think you could handle it. All right, let's go find foodie beauty updates. Okay, so I saw this tweet by Raven Star at Jasper Boy 8. And they said, listen, is Pete's a dumbass for doxing himself? Absolutely. But JFC, don't call him. Who does that? Some people are a special brand of stupid. Um, I just, yeah, it was stupid to dox himself. But, like, I don't agree with calling him either. Like, he seems like he can't handle much right now. So um, he he's having a hard time all by himself. Like, we don't need to add to it by calling. So I just I just thought I would read that tweet and off we go being nosy some more. Okay, you guys. So I saw FFG talk about this somewhere too, but Tweet T said, what? S-Jam paid her credit card bill while she was staying at Smee's before going to Kuwait in exchange for nudes. And then um, they share a clip from the video, but it pretty much just says what we're going to read. So someone said, she's crazier than Jacqueline. As Jam replied, I was watching her. It was weird AF. She was stoned nonstop, LOL. And then he said, didn't realize she lived with their parents. 
Now I feel dumb for helping her pay her credit card when she's living at home, lol. The person asked, you helped her pay her credit card? LMAO. And then he responded, yeah, I'm a moron. Then she turned around telling everyone that I treated her badly. The person replied, that sounds about right. And she sent you nudes too, didn't she? As Jam said, she was the first one, didn't even say, hey, open Facebook to her tits and hairy muff. That's lovely. That's just lovely. Lovely. Hairy muff. Great. Hey, you guys. Okay, this is so where it started where Pete stalks his own number, and then the call started. So it's true, 2021, Hidden Truths on Twitter said, hashtag foodie beauty. Pete stalks his own number live, LMAO. Does he not know Chantel put an ad out with it? Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, let's watch this clip. Showed his number. Number. Uh, one second. Yikes. He didn't notice either. That he ducks his number. Hello? Who is this? Pete's, Pete's, Pete's. This is why you don't fill out dating profiles and share your screen like this. Because then Plenty of Fish sent him a text to his number and showed his number and that's how he got doxxed. Uh oh. Now he's gonna get pissy. Uh oh. And angry. And upset. You can see the rage building. Fuck off. Oh this is where it started fuck you off, guys. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Alright? We saw that part. Okay. Alright, good to know. Good to know. Wow. Again, maybe he's just not made for YouTube. Like maybe this isn't the right fit for him. Like he does things like this and then reacts like in a huge way, in a huge way. I really hope eventually Pete's will go talk to somebody about that because um, it can't be healthy for him or the people that have to live with him, you know? Let's go see what else we find on Twitter, you guys. Okay, you guys, I saw, um, thank you, shenanigans, at shenanigans6 on Twitter. Um, they posted Pete's latest community post. It says, well... Just had to change my phone number because some people just wanted to make other people miserable. Go F yourselves. Edit. Turning comments off for now. I don't want to effing hear any of it. Just leave me the F alone for tonight. Ooh. They are raging like something. I don't know what's going on with those two. Foodie and Pete's. Like they stay mad and angry 24-7. But neither of them realize, like, while they're busy pointing the finger and saying, it's your fault I'm angry, it's your fault I'm angry, they need to take a long, hard look in the mirror and realize they're the problem. They're the cause of all their problems. And until they realize that, nothing will change in their life. Not a darn thing. Here's some Shani for Christ updates. Um... Just in case you guys don't know, she is banavating on a new channel called The Losers Club. Um, this one community post we're going to read is from 15 hours ago. I've been sick and in a lot of pain lately. I apologize for my absence, but my health comes first. Hope you understand. And then the next one is eight hours ago. Can I get some prayers? Do you guys hear my dog snoring? Can I get some prayers? I'm not doing good. I'm very weak. But your comments are off, so... Hmm. Do you want prayers, or are you just looking for... Hmm, I don't know, people to just directly donate to your PayPal like you always want for your pizza and your Delta 8? That's what I'm thinking you really want. I thought we could end the video. Um, look at this cute picture looking at BBJ. French Fried Girl shared this eight hours ago. And the tweet says, queen on her tower. And look at BBJ, you guys. So sweet. So sweet. 
How can you not smile to this?'